we want to move very quickly should we uh, be entrusted with a mandate from Albertans next, uh, uh, in the next spring's election, um, we'll want to be a government of action um, and uh, we'll want to send some very quick messages that Alberta is open for business again. Uh, one key part of which will be pursuing our uh, effort to cut red tape in the Alberta economy. And I don't want to wait six or 12 months before we begin that important work to, to reignite the economy. I would want uh, within days of uh, forming a potential government uh, to begin that important work, which means uh, uh, planning for um, orders in council and bills for introduction in the legislature uh, actually before, not after the next uh, election. So we're going to be doing some of that preparatory work for 100 days of change um, uh, so that we can hit the ground running. I find it interesting that both Quebec and British Columbia um, have uh, lower per capita health costs than Alberta and in many areas they have shorter waiting uh, times for surgical procedures and other forms of health care. So I do not think we should be rigid and ideological. We need to take a step back and ask ourselves why we have the most expensive health system in Canada with deteriorating results. Why are we spending more for less? Why does British Columbia and Quebec with an older population manage to get more uh, health care, that is to say shorter wait times in many areas, for less money. I think one of the reasons may be the positive effects of greater competition within those systems. Under the Stelmac government, uh, about 100,000 acres of Crown Forest land was opened uh, to, for auction uh, for, to be cleared and uh, turned into arable agricultural land. Um, and that is, that, that those acres are now producing um, um, agricultural products that, would they, that the land was purchased by, uh, from the Crown by farmers in northern Alberta. Um, and it's increased the agricultural productivity. We, we have the, uh, there's sort of a microclimate uh, up, up the far north peace country uh, that it is a fairly short growing period, but it is productive land, uh, but it's something I'm seriously looking at. I think it's one way of uh, helping to um, uh, generate some, some uh, crown asset sales to help us deal with our debt and deficit, but also a way to grow the economy uh, by turning what is currently um, unproductive land into productive agricultural land. There's great interest in this, in that, in that region uh, of Alberta, and I think it would be a way to create jobs, further diversify our economy, and also create potentially a net carbon sink through uh, responsible zero tillage uh, farming practices.